Hi there, happy Tuesday. Well, I've just been to um, the chiropodist, or chiropodist, whichever you want to call it, the foot person. Uh, you know, called in at the opticians, finally found them open and had my glasses bent so they don't go through down my nose anymore. But having said that, I've left them in my coat pocket because I've only just come home. You probably see three videos, one after the other, and I'll be wearing the same outfit because I'm going to be filming them all on the same day. But I've got um, kind of too much to put in one video if you want. And one video will just be jewellery, so uh, I'll say at the beginning, and then if you're only interested in crochet, you don't have to watch that one. Uh, I'll start off with Happy Mail. <laughs> Or as somebody said, I shouldn't call it Happy Mail because Happy Mail is when I know what's coming. Uh, but I don't. I didn't know what was coming. So to me, it is Happy Mail. Oh, I got a parcel. I've got a, a letter. I won't read the letter out, but I will say who it's from. It's from Monica. And she hopes I enjoy the flowers, which I will. Um, the weather has been abysmal, so I have not felt in the slightest way inclined to put any flowers out there. Anyway, these are from Monica. They're very pretty. We've got one done in the autumn shades. Keep going the wrong way, don't I, with this camera? One done in shades of lilacs and blues. Oh, it's blowing. I'm glad I can actually see what people are seeing now because I can tell when it's blowing out the colour. That one's in the blues and the purples. I'm not very good with this, am I? Oh, I need lessons on my left from my right. Um, there's a white with lemon. And uh, uh, a lovely blue one with a lovely sparkly button in the middle of it. Stuck in like a bobble stitch. And this one's unusual. It's, oh, it's blowing. There you go. It's done in squares, if you can see it. I have to tip it that way a bit. Don't know why it's blowing out of the colour, but it is. It's like a plait, done in a plait. That's very pretty. And last but not least, I've got a lemon one. Lemon one with brown, I think it's brown. Oh no, it could be a purple button. Yeah, purple button, sorry. <laughs> I should have a little arrow on the camera saying, point everything this way. And this parcel came all the way from the USA. And it's from Shaleen. So thank you very much, Shaleen. And I will open it up. Could be a little box. I think she put a note in it, but I don't know where the note's gone. Anyway. Look at that one. Look how gorgeous that one is. Isn't that pretty? If you're thinking of sending me flowers, by the way, don't give up because I'm going to need hundreds of the things to go across. And I'm very bad because I haven't even made one. And the second one from uh, Shaleen is this one here in pinks and lemons. Isn't that pretty? I've got all the flowers. I'm keeping them all in their little boxes as they came or their little envelopes so that... Because you know what my memory is like. My memory is shattered, shot, whatever you want to call it. So I can never remember who sent me what if I take them out of the packages. Terrible, aren't I? Anyway, this little video is just uh, about what a, one of the magazines that I got. It's called Crochet, Inside Crochet, sorry. Oh, I think it's issue 118 as usual. I should have brought my glasses. But that's the front cover of it. That's it. And it came with a free gift, which is called Autumn Makers. It's got a 6mm hook, stitch markers, a cute little tin, and darning needles in a case, which is very sweet, isn't it?
This time it's a useful free gift, it's not an amicable movement. <laughs> Which one day I will send them off and send them to a new home. Well, paint box yarns, you know, the one who did this jacket pattern. Their pattern is this one, one of their latest patterns. I think it's a shawl. Yeah, Pardu or Pardus. Pardu Fair Isle shawl. Sort of like a little bit animal print, yeah. That's not in the magazine, by the way. You have to buy the pattern for that. Or it may be a free pattern, because paint books do a lot of free patterns. So you may find that that's a free pattern. Um, these are just... Can't read all of those out. Those are just things like that. Stale craft? Stale craft? No, it's not stale craft. It's style craft. Has got a new blanket for those of you who like making blankets. Shows it in two different colourways. I don't know whether you buy the kit uh, or what. Um, no, it just tells you to go to your nearest stockist. So... It probably is a pattern. It says with two exquisite colourways and DIY colour chart, you can create your own blanket. So you could choose your own colours for that. Um, what have we got? Oh, we've got little bobbly hats for kiddies. Um, it's a little picture of them there. And then a, a bigger picture of them there. And then a, a picture of the other side of them, which shows that they've got a little bubbly tail on the, is it the fox, I think? That pattern is in the magazine. There's a, more about the ongoing crochet along that's been a recurrent theme through each of the magazines. Um, there's a, it's called Anemone this week. Or this month, I should say. Doesn't come out every week, does it? Um, this one's Into the Woods. It's uh, Rosine Northcote. Rosina, sorry. It's grey and yellow. I think there's a different picture of it further in. That's a super duper thick shoulder shawl. Uh, there's a rosy, rosy wrap and a, a multicoloured dress. Um, I think we're still on the fox theme. I think there's a fox's face on one end of the scarf. I think that we're on that. And then this is, it's called Firewood Waistcoat. It's very open work mesh long waistcoat. Um, that's my PC, just ignore it. That's called Berries and Conquer Shawl. And this again is a super, super thick, chunky sweater. It's a shorty one, you know, looks like it's done all in one top down. And this is um, a bobby hat with cables. It looks knitted, but I'm sure it must be crochet because it's in the crochet magazine. We've got mittens and socks. Well, fingerless mittens and socks. And there's a bag and a hat. And then we've got blankets. We've got squirrels and... Oh, oh, it looks like a badger, I think. It looks like a squirrel and a badger to me, but I'm not very good with these animals. And then you've got a basket and a toadstool. Oh, and the last but not least is a toadstool dress and a lollipop jumper. Just see if there's any better patterns for any of them. 
yeah, the sweater, as you can see, it is super, super chunky. I mean, the young ones may like it. It's a little bit on the thick side for me. And a little bit short, to be quite truthful. I'm a bit of a chunky monkey, so I like things to go just below the waist. Not before the waist, if you know what I'm saying. That's the firewood waistcoat. Not one of my favourites. a little bit meshy for me. Um... The forest tunic, I do sort of kind of like it. I wouldn't make it quite so long. You know, it looks like a dress that stops short, doesn't it? But I do like the actual style of using kind of like a rainbowy shade of wool with a plain in the stripes. Um, right, the berries and conkers shawl appears to be Unless I'm wrong, it appears to be kind of like a, you know, one of those, um, I call them like a wedgie cheese. You know, they start off bigger than they go to nothing at one end. Not triangular. Asymmetrical, I'm not sure what exactly you call them, yeah. And this one is a, it's, it's a little chunky for me, but I can see why some people may find it wearable. And elderberry mitts. They look quite fine, actually. Uh, yeah, they're done in four ply, which is like a fingering. Whether well, you can see them or not, there. One for Kelly there. She likes doing finger fingering mittens. A woven clutch bag. One day I will finish my bags off. They just need lining. Uh, and Seven Summits hat. It looks a little bit like, you know, like corner to corner, but I know it's not. But it does look a little bit like corner to corner. And I'm sitting in an awkward position and my back is starting to hurt. Ah, that's the forager's shawl. It's mostly grey, but it's got the border around the edge. It looks nice and simple. Simple to do. It is a foxy derby shawl, uh, scarf, yeah. That's one half of the fox on one end of it. And then the other end of the fox, the other end of the scarf is the other end of the fox, yeah. I've never actually made a basket yet. I don't know whether anybody else has made one. I have got some grey t-shirt yarn in the garage somewhere. That for some reason or another I acquired. Um, I probably was going to make a basket but it actually never got around to it. So it'll be unearthed at some stage from the garage. Yeah. Formal leaves blanket. It's just a plain blanket. It's just the colours that they've used, isn't it, that make it very autumnal. And then that's the cosy cabled beanie. What's in next month? Issue 119 will be on sale on the 24th of October. And it's going to be festive folklore. Well, that's what's going to be in next month. Um... Oh, it's supposed to be a cushion, that toadstool. I thought it was just a decorative toadstool. Voila. Woodland Friends. It's got needle felted features to finish. I think it's a badger. I'm not sure. I know it's a squirrel, isn't it? But is that a badger? Um, Samane socks. I'm not a lover of crochet socks. I find them very uncomfortable. And this is the, ooh, the lollipop jumper. Here. See if there's anything better. Oh, the toadstool dress. That's for a little girl, isn't it? Or baby. Whichever. Um, 
mother and daughter head wraps. They're very, very similar to the rosy wrap that... Uh... Oh, gosh, I can never think of her name. Random Randy's Ramblings. Very, very similar to the rosy wrap that she's made. Uh, this one comes in sizes for mother and daughter, so... But they're very, very easy to adapt anyway, if you have a pattern for a, a rosy wrap type of thing. You know, you can easily make them smaller. Not a problem. This magazine arrived ripped, so I don't know why. Yeah. This one is a pattern. It's for... Oh, it's a free pattern if you go to cascadeyarns.com. That's quite pretty, isn't it, for a free pattern? We all like a freebie, don't we? So that's that one. And then this is think a pattern that you have to buy is that what I can never pronounce I call it sheep jeeps it's scages I think it's called or something very very pretty it's a shawl so that's that for those two um, I think that's probably it as far as this video is concerned um, I will make another video because I've got another magazine to to do. I don't like washing like two videos into one, it makes them too long. So I'll sign off for this one and then I will see you shortly with another video. Bye for now.